It is late March 2019, and uh, there's some trouble in the uh, voluntarist community. There's a little something uh, going on that's a big something that's not good. Uh, child molestation. Today we're going to talk about child molestation and how this kind of horrible thing ought to be treated in a free society. And what I'm talking about today is just kind of a conversation starter. It's for you to start a conversation in your own head with those around you. Uh, if we did not have a state, how would we deal with this type of circumstance? And the circumstances as I understand them at this point. Now that's got both of us. So you're wanting to uh, continue with touching me, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Continue doing sexual stuff. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I like it. You like it. You know, because it feels good? Because it feels good. And it feels good like it feels good to you. It does feel good to me, although I become much more uncomfortable with the idea of doing it since you are six and I'm also your dad and I'm wanting to have more people aware of this conversation, people, specific people who are able to handle this because I want them to know that you are wanting to do it with me and uh, I've talked with two of my girlfriends that I have overseas at the Philippines and they're both okay, stop doing that. And I'm conflicted about that because I both recognize that you're rather young and there's a question of whether or not if you're... And the audio just was messing up there for a little bit. It'll be back in... ...recorded, right? And do you want to know who I'm sending it to? Okay. So this is about, um, you were first talking earlier about that, uh, I asked if you were wanting to be sexual with me, and you initially said yes, mainly with touching my penis, right? Shh. But no, I don't want to do it. Right. And uh -huh. I'm saying that I'm okay with that. So you're saying that you don't want to do sexual stuff with me anymore, is that basically it? Um, you don't want to be sexual with me anymore, correct? And I'm fine with that. I'm actually kind of, that's what I would prefer. Yes, Sally? Hey, I, I want Frankie. This is from Skittles. Uh, yes, it is. And, Zoe, you want to be sexual with me. And you're, I'm thinking, okay with that is that you're, you, both of you are aware of that. So, that's the latest thing. And I'm still trying to work out that of, or that I would continue with you. And if that's even more, I don't really know. Look on this cheek. I, I am. There's that thing on my cheek. So I'm going to stop this video and then send it now, okay? And so he made this video and then put it out there into internet land on Facebook. Um, so that kind of tells us about his intellectual level some. But getting to the actual moral part of this and what ought to happen... In my experience, and that was I was a police officer uh, for the state for about 10 years. Uh, I worked in uh, one county jurisdiction just in the jail system and then uh, in two municipal police departments. And one of those, uh, I was a crimes against children detective. So I did child forensic interviewing and handled the sexual molestation cases. Unfortunately, there weren't a lot. But I do have some experience with that and dealing with the system, having meetings with attorneys and counselors and setting up plans for the, for the follow-up for these children. And so with that background and my desire for there to be a free society where there isn't a state, I figured it might be worth me just tossing out my two cents worth uh, about what ought to happen. So first of all, you have to ask yourself, and the answer will be different for all of us, what makes a person touching another person wrong? Is it that I'm offended by it? 
when I think of a adult male, um, even fondling a six year old girl, much less full sexual intercourse, I'm disgusted by it. My, my urge, my natural urge is to just go up and destroy that human being, uh, physically. And I just, I get into the rage and then I, I calm down and I still think it's wrong. And intellectually I look at it and say, well, what is the right age? And I'm not going to bore you with that. We all have, you know, nobody knows that it's 17 years, 364 days is bad. 365 days is great. It's different for everyone, but we kind of know that six, seven, eight years old, there's really no argument there. There can be an argument for the teens, but eh, not really at that point. And then I think about the little girl and, and what makes it wrong for her. And in her follow-up counseling, will the counseling make things better or will the counseling make things worse? And I tend to lean toward the latter. And the reason I say that is that there are a lot of things, social customs and norms, whether there's some island somewhere where the when the boys turn 14 or so, the one of the women in the village takes their virginity and it's just kind of considered a rite of passage and it's not a weird deal uh, for them. And so when the guys are in their 40s, they're not having nightmares and PTSD because they were molested. Well, no, they just took part in a, a, a ritual, a, a custom of the, the tribe. And yet, to me, it seems kind of wrong, kind of sort of really wrong, for an adult to have any sort of sexual relationship with a child, especially their own. So why? You tell me. Formulate a good argument. What makes that wrong? When I was a kid, my mom would pay me to give her a foot massage or to brush her hair. That's physical touch. It was She was doing it for her own pleasure. Felt good to have her feet massaged. I do that with my you know, my children used to. Now it's my grandchildren. I can't wait until they really want a nickel or a dime unless prices have gone up. Well, I that's certainly not inappropriate. What makes the sexual part of it inappropriate? What's your answer? This is not just something to gloss over. Really, truly, what's wrong with it? Where is that magic part on the body? Is it is it the part that makes the uh, makes it sexual? So. Like if we're not going to draw a line between you can touch me here, but you can't touch me here. Why? Is it the closeness to other areas? Really? I encourage you come up with a good answer for yourself or at least question this. And then also question when something does happen, is it now good for a bunch of do-gooder counselors to sit down with the little girls and explain to them repeatedly how horribly they've been victimized, how they didn't deserve it, what a, you know, it's going to be tough going on in life. You're going to need to come to lots of therapy with us and we're getting paid fairly well, but you need to come to lots of therapy with us and you really need to realize how horribly, horribly victimized you've been and that there's going to be suffering and that, that, oh my gosh, or do a child, you know, cognitive appropriate uh, experts say to the girls, well, yeah, daddy, did, have you ever done something that was wrong? And they're like, yeah. And well, daddy did something that was wrong. And uh, so we're not gonna let him hang out with you. Um, but you'll still get to see him sometimes, just not, you know, in, in close contact. And what he was, you know, what you guys did together, that was wrong. Shouldn't have done that. Um, not your fault, but he shouldn't have done that. And uh, yeah, let's just not do that anymore. And, and let's revisit it again in 10 years. And if you want to go with, uh, you know, a boyfriend or whatever at that point. Let's talk about it again. Um, but let me know if you have any problems with this or whatever. But hey, uh, you want to go to the park and play? That kind of message doesn't say you are oh, been horribly victimized. Let's make a big deal out of this. And sorry to keep harping on this, but I've seen this so often that some pe so many people's lives are torn apart because they fall into this victimization counseling. We need to get hooked up with services. We need to get more counseling. And oh, here's a new PTSD or ADD or a new thing that, ah, oh, there's a drug that we can treat, uh, treat it with or help mask your real feelings. I don't know what the solutions are. And as I said at the beginning, uh, this video is not one of those videos that tells you this is how it is and this is what you need to believe. This is just encouraging you to kind of 
deeply examine a pretty icky thing and come up with come up with your own moral stance, your own principles? How would you handle uh, something like this in a free society? What do you think is true and right and good and bad and where are the lines drawn and what should happen? And I don't know. This is such a tough topic. Hopefully we'll all think about it and talk about it. Thank you for your time. 